Good morning from Smoky Mountain Chickens. So we have babies on the way. It's not gonna be long because I see some pips. There's one, there's two, three, four at least. So y'all stay tuned for the excitement. So I'm really excited because they're pipping. As you can see, it's where the chick has broke the outer shell of the egg. And there's quite a few eggs that are pipped. So that's a good sign. And why I say that is, is because last week we had a little bit of, of, a, of a dilemma. So my incubator has a humidity pump, external humidity pump. And this is something that you can put separate on your incubator. If you don't purchase this, then you can just fill the tray up that's on the inside of the incubator. And I find that a little tedious at my house because I do burn a wood stove. So we're, we're pretty dry inside. So we are constantly filling up water and it's really hard to keep it at a consistent temperature or not temperature, but humidity. So I noticed one day as I come up here, the humidity was like in the twenties and that's just not where I want to keep the humidity for hatching eggs. And especially like when you're fixing to put the eggs in lockdown, the humidity needs to be raised up a little bit. So of course it happened last week, right during lockdown, right before, you know, Christmas. So I call Brenzy and they're like, um, we're fixing to close in about an hour. I was like, in an hour, are you serious? And he's like, yeah. And what's even worse is we're fixing to close until like January 4th because of Christmas and the holidays. So I have a bunch of eggs in my incubator and I'm starting to panic just a little bit. So he said, let's do some troubleshooting things. And we did those and we just really couldn't come to a conclusion of what happened to it. Because like I said, it's brand new. It's a closed unit, like inside where the motor is, it's completely closed up. How water got in there, we're really not sure. He's like, maybe the tubing on top, it had you know leaked, but me and my husband couldn't find like a crack in it. So at this point, it still is kind of a mystery, but he was able to fix one up really quick and like run it to the post office within an hour. So that was awesome. Um, it couldn't get there, you know, in a couple of days, but it did get here yesterday. So I was super excited about that because I had eggs in lockdown and they really don't start pipping until about today. So we were able to get it set up and not have to open the door up anymore. And I wasn't sure how many, you know, was gonna hatch this time just because we'd had such large fluctuations in the humidity. My house, like I said, I run a wood stove, so it stays very dry, especially when it's super cold and my stove is running like full blast and we had a really cold week last week. So my incubator humidity was like in the 20s a whole lot. And really the only way to remedy that is come up here and just fill the inside tray. And I can't really keep it at a steady humidity. It's just kind of, you know, sometimes it'll go up in the 50s and then it'll go back down and up and down and up, which, you know, that will work. But like I said, not being real stable with my stove, I really value this humidity pump. It keeps it at a steady rate digitally. And I've had these humidity pumps before. I used to have one of these incubators years ago. I had it for like five or six years running full blast, never had a problem with the pump. So I was just a little puzzled on what exactly happened this time, but I have faith that, you know, maybe it was just a one-time oddity and this one is going to work. Fingers crossed and I hope my eggs do good. So it's a good sign that, you know, I have as many pipped as, as they are. And my due date is tomorrow which typically I do have eggs hatch the day before or the night before. So it's kind of looking like it's running on time to what it normally does. And yeah, I'm praying that they do good and the babies are good and I'll keep y'all updated. So stay tuned for the progress.